Welcome back everyone. Got all my recyclables here. Uh, just throwing them into my recycling bin. Right over yonder. This is kind of my recycling bin. It's got the... Uh, I spray painted that on. Because, well, I don't have a recycling bin. I never got from the township. Uh, fortunately, I don't have automated garbage. Because if I did, oh, I should probably take this stuff out too. Uh, fortunately, I don't have automated garbage pickup because if I did, then I wouldn't be able to do trash picking. Uh, let's grab this guy, and this actually reminds me I have to go get a water. It's just... I'll gamble off my life and say this water is probably still good. Uh, but, yeah, let's go and do some trash picking, and let's do an auction thing. I got a bunch of milk crates. Got to drop off milk crates with my friend, and uh, let's make this a good one. Let's get out there and see what kind of treasure we can find today. Let's do it. I don't, know. I don't know what that is. It's like a vintage Costco like step stool. Usually I come across the uh, big Costco chairs. It is Costco. It's exactly what it is. It's like a Costco like a step ladder kind of thing. You're like bloop. I think. I don't know. Maybe not. I barely could put one foot on there. It's kind of neat probably try a flea market that does have a lot of rust but sometimes these still sell because they have the rust or they just have that right look they don't sell because they have rust they sell because they have that look um it's kind of cool what's this stuff garbage garbage probably garbage garbage hey look Assortment of seasonal scrap metal. This seems to be the uh, put on glove for this one. This one looks a little dirty, like most times. Get yourself some beach chairs. These guys have a lot of rust. Unfortunately, these things will definitely be scrapped. Must have kept them at the beach too long, I guess. I don't know, those things. I've seen some wear and can't go a summer day of trash picking without finding a couple fans. This one's one that you put in the window. And then you have a box fan. The old box fan. The older ones you can definitely tell are like they have the metal frame on them. not brittle like the last one we grabbed but um the wirings you see that it's all split is that really oh my goodness look at that that's the actual wire and they just taped the whole thing the entire thing is taped and that's just exposed that sounds like a safety hazard and a half that's wild we got something for a uh, subscriber. So there's a local subscriber to the channel who uh, asked me at the flea market if I ever come across wheels for bicycles to save them because they repurpose them. Uh, they'll pay me like a dollar, dollar fifty each. Uh, but for me, I can't scrap the wheels if they're just individually, if they have the rubber on them. So by grabbing these, she can reuse them. I can resell them. Essentially, we can keep it out of the landfill. So we got three here. Nope. Oh, they're already, they're already taken off. All right. Well, I'm not going to take the tire because they're already off, but uh, looks like we have three. Three wheels. So, I think they'll still take it like that. I mean, I could scrap them, but I think I would just make a pile up once I get maybe like 10 or so. I'll swap them out and they can use them. So they make some sort of art with it. And they were telling me about it, but they live out by Leesport. So if I ever have 
Sport Flea Market. I know they do that market as well and just drop it off with them or if they stop by my flea market again. All right, what's all these contraptions on the left? That's wicker. Eh, no, nope, not for me. It's been a while since I picked up wicker, but I've learned from my experience it just isn't for me. Now this person has some things on the other side that's the car look like. Oh, what's that? Is that a barometer? A barometer? Is that the right word? Or is it just like a wall clock? I think it's fancy. Ooh, that's really nice. So right now, according to this, it says that it's uh, 107, which is not right. It's not 107 degrees out right now. Uh, so she might be broken. But I think it is barometer, no? If I'm not mistaken, it has this and that, but does have the uh, temperature, so that might be wrong. Oh, I gotta go down here. Make sure I always look both ways when crossing the street. What did I see in this box? Another spice rack. <laughs> oh, that guy's broken. I'll take the spice rack. Take the spice rack. It's in decent shape. It's not as old as the other one probably donate it if I don't sell it. I don't know if I will sell it, but because I haven't taken the other one to the, to the flea market yet. Alright. Alright, just like that, we're done trash picking. Uh, here we are. Got to drop off these milk crates. Here's that optometrist table. Very, very cool. I think he has, so you see, see, American Optical. I think he has it listed online for like 800 bucks. Um, he got that for a steal. At uh, that one auction, there was a optometrist. There was a optometrist chair there. That didn't even sell. I drop off this guy's milk crates. Hey, look, he's got one right there. He's got another one up there. They're everywhere. All right, so how many do I have here? I have two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Next stop, auction. I wonder what all that stuff is. Probably lighting fixtures and stuff. Parts. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Who knows if everything's in there? Who knows anything about that? make some room I don't really want to break this because that might be valuable even though I don't think it even works uh, picked up this one bin here so you got the NASCAR cars on top which there was a box of these in the first row it sold for 12 bucks for four of these um, was anything different but if you look at the bottom not on this side you got a car in there Maestro is that a Thunderbird possibly 2002 Ford Thunderbird, that's what it is. Uh, but you have a Hostess Pyrex bowl there, and I saw it does have the bottom, so the lid with the top. That's like three bucks in it itself. There's a kick car in there as well, so you got probably, I'd say around 15 bucks here and stuff. Well, I paid, I think, four dollars, so I think it was worth it. I might even keep that Thunderbird for myself. I didn't check it out online. It could be something that is worth some money. The last uh, Maestro one I had, I got that SWAT car out of the storage locker. I think I got 30 bucks for it or 40 bucks for it on eBay, so you just never know. 
All right, so I just bought this all for three bucks. This has some advertisement on it. It's hard to read. I was thinking I'd probably get five or ten for that. And these are, you know, two, three dollars each. But for three bucks, you can't really pass up. It's probably just gonna be scrap metal, but. All right, so changing up, we got a box of paper ephemera here for paper and moose. Uh, there's a patch actually in here, a vintage, vintage high school patch, which is actually the high school she went to. And she's a huge collector of it, so had to grab it just for the patch. But there's a bunch of other smaller things in here, some stubs, uh, the old Wrigley's paper paper stock for their chewing gum so I had better grab that for her but I'm probably gonna be heading out here shortly because the rest of the rows this was the old they only had one row of uh, like vintage antique stuff and that was it and everything really went pretty high so probably gonna head out head out here shortly all right auction time's over decided to come to the thrift store it's been a very very long time since I've been to the thrift store really really long time but i got a lot of things to drop off so i figured I'd stop here first The local hockey team but i don't think it's the actual hockey team i think it's like a travel team yeah. class where sections looking a little bare what are all these my must make collect oh these are fiesta this must be the newer fiesta it's gotta be the newer fiesta this can't be the old stuff they're all marked two bucks it's interesting So I decide to kind of go ahead and just check it out. We got that's not even the same one. Uh, try to find one with uh, with the plate saucer and plate. All right, there you go. Cup and saucer, ten thirty five free shipping. Sold. Uh, those aren't the same ones. That one's probably similar. Fifteen dollars best offer. Just a cup, five bucks. Another one, ten dollars free shipping. This one's a dollar seventy nine plus shipping. So, looking like probably not a good buy. It, it could be a good buy for an entry level reseller. Uh, you might be able to get like 30 or 40 bucks for the set, so you'll invest 10 or 15 dollars and make 40 bucks. What is this? Or that's kind of cool. I kind of like that one. Um, but for someone like me, it's it, it just too much work for my time. I also do not like selling hard goods. Uh, if it's not something that's very valuable or if it needs a uh, fragile packing all right so finally made it home it's been a very very long day uh, i did stop back around lunch let salsa out give her lunch stuff like that hang out for for an hour but i never got to uh never got to releasing a video so i have to go back in and release a video it's like 4 30 right now so i apologize for a later video in the day I gotta sit down and edit a video, but I'm probably gonna end up actually doing some weed whacking before I edit. It's like a, a non-stop chore out here to do anything. But this is the uh, this is what you get whenever you donate stuff to Salvation Army. So this is like I just kind of folded back cause all sorts of other information on there. But uh, you write down the description on the left, as you can probably not read my chicken scratch, glassware, toys, purses, CDs, DVDs, video games, towel rack condition very good and then they sign at the bottom but on this sheet there's no actual um 
uh, there's no actual amount that you can write for your income tax. So when you do your income tax stuff and you write off your deductions, some of these forms actually have a little slot where you write how much money, essentially the stuff that you donated was worth. I know with TurboTax, when you do the, uh, the deductions, if you put down towel rack, it does like an eBay search and finds the value of a towel rack or the average sell price of a towel rack. And then that is essentially the amount that you're deducting, which is completely like weird because I know I did like shot glasses. I had three, bo three boxes of shot glasses and on the, uh, the app, it was like $1.25 per shot glass was the deduction. And I probably donated a hundred. So it was like 125 bucks, but it wasn't really like $125 in shot glasses. So it was kind of like a weird thing how that kind of happens. But uh, aside from that, I'm going to run inside, finish up some work. Then we come out here, do some weed whacking. I won't bore you guys with that, but it's been a fun one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys are staying cool this summer. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Smack that like button. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.